fun little gadget that's very simple to make. It's a laser spirograph. And basically, it's uh, just made out of a couple of motors, like you can get from a hobby store, a gear, some small mirrors, a laser pointer, batteries, and variable resistors. And what this is, is it's going to make a little laser show. It only took about uh, an hour to put together. What you do is you uh, attach a small round mirror on the end of a little hobby motor like this. And you can use a gear to help attach it. You do that twice, and then you set the mirrors up in such a way that if you take a laser pointer, bounce it off the first mirror, it'll come to the second mirror, and then eventually hit the wall. And then the kind of fun thing is when you turn the power on, the mirrors will spin and it'll create a nice spirograph type of image. So when we move the camera, we can see what it'll do. Project onto this little backdrop here, but it works really pretty well projecting against walls or at night project against a house. I'm going to use a green laser pointer uh, because it's easy to see. You could also use a red one, but with a red one, uh, you probably want to do it at night. So let me go ahead and turn the power on here, and I'm just going to, actually before I turn the power on, I'm going to show you if you bounce, again, bounce the light from this mirror to that mirror and onto the wall, it just makes one point. Now if we turn the power on, and I'll start spinning up one of the, one of the mirrors, that turns it into a nice little circle. And now if I start spinning the other mirror, we start getting our little laser spirograph patterns. By changing the speed of the motors here, we can create some neat patterns. So here we have uh, a nice star. Let's go faster, get some very good pictures here. And then uh, the different motor speeds in relation to each other gives you different kind of patterns. So let's go the other direction and we'll create some stars and then we can get what looks to be an Adobe logo we can slow that down here it's another star again and again by doing the different speeds of the motors you can do uh, quite a lot of interesting patterns alright there it is